Eugenio, you're working in the German Center of Neurogenerative Diseases, which is an academic institution. What is the role of academic institutions in drug discovery, and how does this role differ from the role of pharmaceutical companies? Uh, I think, and I always believe, I mean, I will always working in academia. So my, my career has been always in different institutes, but in academia. Uh, but I collaborate with several pharmaceutical companies during my, and I like to have this, this part. I think one aspect it is academia should should and must be focused more in what is drug discovery component. So the, the and to innovate in there and, they, and the academia can innovate in different way, starting from the understanding of the disease. That's what we try to do, for example, for neurodegenerative diseases here in Bonn. Um, but also to to innovate technology, uh, to innovate at, at, at each level, from microscopy to artificial intelligence to to develop. Because that's the role that academia can do and must do, and the industry does, but it does in a different way. So, in a sort of way, industry has more focus on the on the mission that the industry specifically has for the branch where they are in, in integrating and interested in there. But the academia can be do more freely and can also interact with more to this very level. But a key role is really understanding the biology of the disease. Many of the diseases are still not completely clear. And uh, that's our role. Or oh, identify new target, for example. We have a shortcut in kind of targets. If you look at the at the food and drug approved drugs, I think that there is maximum thousand targets that are, that are at the moment known. Um, despite a, 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 a proteome that is probably hundreds of thousands of proteins, so there is still a lot of potential in there. And that's also another role that academia can have in identifying new targets. We started recently an initiative to to increase, especially in CNS, uh, the, the discovery of new targets, and uh, innovating in all aspects of the drug discovery part. Of course, we play also a role in drug development, so we have all chain for doing that. But in this case, I see that academia can interact with the pharmaceutical world, because the pharmaceutical world is the professional work that knows all the regulatory aspects and has all the chemistry and everything, and they see the benefits to have more this translation of the discovery part to the translational part to industry. And that's also a role that the 